Hello and welcome to the Weekend Investing Daily Bites. We're shooting this episode on 6th of April, 2023. And yet another good day uh, for the Nifty. Uh, let me just go to the chart. Yeah. So we are now very close to a resistance uh, line here. But nevertheless, we've come out very, very strongly uh, from the uh, around 17,000 consolidation. And this is for now at least uh, a good good uh, bounce from this bottom. We've closed this gap as well, but we are now cl coming close to this resistance and that is something that uh, you know can be a bit worrisome. But for now, I think the market is all right. The global queues are also a bit uh, soft. Uh, interest rates have for now topped out at least in the Indian market. And that is all good news going forward. In terms of today's heat map, we have uh, uh, Bajaj Finance doing very well along with Bajaj Finserv. We had Tata Motors doing well. We had Adani Enterprise doing very well. Uh, some softness in ONGC, Levers, Nestle, Britannia, Access Bank, ICICI Bank, some tech stocks, TCS, HCR Tech, and JSW Steel Titan. So many of these stocks that had run up in the last four or five sessions, some of them have started you know, correcting in a way, it's some profit booking on that, but overall a reasonably good uh, breadth and, uh, and and formation going forward. Real estate, top gainer of the day, 2.8% up. Uh, as soon as RBI mentioned that no further uh, uh, increase in interest rates or repo rates for the day, real estate stocks uh, went through the roof and uh, along with real estate autos also did quite well uh, the only sectors that uh, did not participate today were consumption fmcg and it sectors so real estate has done really well for the past week uh, clocking almost six percent autos are up nearly three percent pharma is up nearly three percent infra is also up three percent and nifty overall gained only about 0.2 percent so nifty went up quite a bit but in the second half of the day gave up some of those gains Mid cap is also moving well today. Uh, after two days of pause, the the mid cap index also surged ahead. Small cap index has been phenomenal in terms of you know the bounce from the bottom. So from 8500, it has already bounced now to near 9000. So more than five percent of gain has already come in five sessions, which is very very good. But now, of course, we may come to some sort of resistance. So I am I am expecting that some consolidation will happen, uh, you know, for for a week or so. And and definitely, this is being a truncated week. Tomorrow being a uh, a trading holiday for Good Friday. Uh, the next week may be you know a challenge to keep going further. We may consolidate, and then once we do break out, uh, we could go ahead. As you can see in the Nifty Bank today, very very clearly. Nifty Bank was poised to break out, but because the entire market is not yet, uh, you know, in that breakout mode, uh, we will consolidate here until you know Nifty and Bank Nifty probably, probably Bank Nifty may take a lead. So one needs to be very careful in terms of watching this chart. As soon as you find that the Bank Nifty has taken a lead and broken out, the others are likely to follow. That is the pattern that may happen because the financials always lead. The market especially you know when the market is breaking out or breaking down uh, on that uh, within the performance metrics uh, the indices were pretty muted some of the uh, strategies did quite well uh, nnf10 here clocked 0.6 percent within the mid and small cap strategies uh, mi50 clocked half a percent mi20 was down uh, in small cap, pure small cap strategies, MI25 was uh, in line with the small cap index. MI35 was 0.2% up. Uh, within the all cap strategies, you had MI30 clocking 0.5%. Others were almost flat there. So uh, this uh, uh, day, this week has been quite good. Uh, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, this chart on the US dollar index. This is a chart I wanted to come back to. Uh, this chart, if you see, is making a very uh, uh, textbook style head and shoulders pattern. And the dollar index is very, very closely linked to how the flows 
take place towards emerging markets towards risk assets towards precious metals so once this neckline about at, at around 101 convincingly is broken down if it does that i am expecting a lot of gush of fresh capital to come towards emerging markets and precious metals and i think that may cause us for you know that breakout that we are looking for the big breakout if it has does happen and 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 we may go for a new high will happen once this breaks out breaks down from here so you know we have about uh, almost 100 115 to 100 bonds so 14 points of a head here uh, if we do break down from here we are headed towards 87 levels if if we do reach 87 levels i think nifty will be at an all time high by that time uh, so this is something that i i am really watching out for and hoping that uh, this will do well uh, also on the india 10 year uh, yield uh, actually very uh, yeah, surprisingly and uh, something to note actually that the yield actually broke down uh, even before the rbi spoke so the market was expecting in its own wisdom that rates rates will be paused and uh, as you have seen in the us yields also which have been falling uh, from 4.3 or to about 3.3 or 4.5 actually uh, to 3.3 so without the interest rates having been brought down the market is already guiding the interest rates down in its wisdom and that's why you know that bhav bhagwan che theory is that the market actually is supreme market is actually giving you a huge indication even before the events are announced that what is likely to happen and this is what exactly we saw in the indian market today also that this breakdown actually happened even before the rbi spoke and the 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 trend had been down but this breakdown happened uh, this morning again a very nice trend is on the nifty real estate index so you can see here that the nifty real estate index has broken out out of this channel and a huge move on today's candle a uh, couple of percentage up and uh, if this sustains and crosses you know 420 i think we are uh, well on the way to to the previous highs here and one of the key leading stocks in this sector is dlf uh, dlf uh, was or has been consolidating since december is in in this 340 380 region and now it seems like there is a chance that it may break out from here and you know go back to its 410 420 levels to test again this is one uh one potential trade uh that you could look at you could keep it on your watch list and and see if you get any setup on on your uh, on your uh, trading system uh to trade this stock because this does look uh really really good on the charts of course it may be little little overbought but nevertheless it's 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 a stock to be watched so this is all i had for today's uh, session uh, thank you so much for watching let me quickly go and see if i have any uh, questions waiting for me just give me a moment oh let me also uh, talk to you about uh, about weekend investing strategies uh, where to go and look for them so you could go look for the weekend investing strategies at weekendinvesting.com and we've created one very nice uh, uh, analytics portion there where you can compare strategies you can combine strategies and see how these strategies will play out or would have played out over the last few years so the first question is from dilip singh uh, please start sharing your outlook on the stock for the week it will be great as we wait for your stream so thank you so much uh, dilip for for watching this this episode uh, regularly and we we today we've covered the dlf limited as our uh, stock of the day uh so so we will try to bring one stock in every session to you know sort of have some sort of a watch list created for stocks that could be in action uh let me know if you have uh, any more queries uh, i'll i'll wait for a few more minutes if you have any more queries you can let me know here uh meanwhile i would also like to show you uh, some charts of uh, 
you know the hedge that you want to trade or sorry invest is this is the gold INR chart I am a very strong proponent of having gold in your portfolio as a hedge and this is why you want to have gold you want to see the percentage gain over the last decade two decades this is the INR gold more than 11 and a half percent clocked on a CAGR basis uh, there is a big FUD that has been going around for many decades in the Indian market especially that don't invest in gold because gold is a useless asset it doesn't give you any dividends it doesn't give you uh, any productivity but if you if you will go see uh, how gold has performed uh, versus and al although I'm not saying you should compare it with equity but it will give you a very good complementarity with equity so when you see a gold chart along with nifty uh, you can see that uh, you know over the last uh, two decades so 2003 onwards i mean gold is up 1000% nifty is up maybe uh, you know 1600% so no, not comparable but just see the situations where uh, nifty is not doing well so you know if if you look at for instance 2008 uh, you know if we if we go to the 2008 drop so when while nifty was dropping gold was riding, rising heavily so your portfolio was protected that is the point i'm getting at and so again in covid times let's go to covid uh, so march 2020 is here so you see you can see the nifty falling here and gold rising dramatically on the opposite so whenever you will find that the equity is not doing well inr gold will support your portfolio and that is the whole reason why you must invest in in this hedge because this will protect you in times of stress so this is something that uh, i always wanted to say uh, and i have more questions now uh, Siva Sankran Mani says, like to know the Nifty range next week if positive result starts to come in. So I've already discussed Nifty. I think uh, as a predictive uh, uh, ability, I, I don't have much of a predictive ability in terms of what may happen, what will happen. But I can definitely tell you that this uh, downward trending uh, line will not be easy to break. I mean, un unless something dramatic changes. So, and that dramatic change I've already talked about is the dollar index. If that dollar index falls, uh, you know, below uh, 101, I think that will cause, uh, in, you know, equities to break from all resistances from that. Ashutosh says, thank you for the excellent analysis. Thank you, Ashutosh. Uh, what other questions do I have? Uh, which sectors will show momentum after RBI policy of interest rate? So uh, very obvious uh, in terms of real estate and, uh, you know, uh, autos. These are the two sectors that 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 will always, always perform the, 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 the best whenever uh, we will have, uh, you know, interest rate uh, cycles topping out. So you are already seeing this and on the autos while it is still down and out but if you see it has been also you know somewhat uh, you know just been there in in this channel uh, and, and 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 not really going down as such so i i would assume that with interest rate cycles if it has topped out i think autos will also pick up and go back towards the top of the channel here Uh, Mr. Mahindru, thank you. He says, pleasure to be participating first time in your chat. Thank you. Also an IIT alumni. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. Uh, I don't see any more questions and I am almost out of my time also. So thank you so much all for watching this and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.